So what are we going to do? Okay, well first we're going to look at the nice wingtips you put on there. I like those a lot. And then I think you're going to get ready to do the top cover, right? So did you pre-bend that top cover? Yep. So you roll it with uh, the broomstick, just like he says. And I just put it on my knees and went, and I just rolled it over on the broomstick. Wow. Over and over and over. And you do actually have to see how that one's kind of straight right there. Mm -hmm. So that really should be curled over a little bit more. That one too. And it just kind of stays there after rolling it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought of that. I thought I just forced it, <laughs> pinned it down. I, I guess reading the instructions is probably a good idea. Well, it breaks. <laughs> I broke yeah. one. Oh. I, I bent it too fast, too hard. So, I mean, it actually fits really well. Sure does. And so he says you just take and weight this down. So we line this up. And then you take your your three millimeter piece of foam, I mean six millimeter piece of foam, and you stick it under the trailing edge. <clears throat> and then when you, so I'm just gonna glue, I'm gonna apply my glue and, and pin everything down is my plan. So you'll pin it right, you know, right through the front of the, the edge, all the way down to your... All the way down into the board, right? Yeah. That's that's how I've built all my life, is you pin into the board. Yeah. And, and of course, you have to put the pins at an angle. So they hold. Because it's going to try to pull up. Mm -hmm. And with the pin at an angle, of course, it can't pull it out. Got it. So that's the trick. Okay. Well, you had mentioned on the other video about putting the six millimeter, or the, yeah, piece of foam under there, so... It, stops washout what does that mean what, what do you do with washout well we have this this piece of foam so when we when we build the wing notice it's flat hopefully if you built it on the board it'll be mm -hmm. flat well <clears throat> consider as the airplane goes through the air and then <clears throat> as the as it starts to stall as the angle of attack increases mm -hmm. so now the whole wing is going to stall together and most of the time it drops a wingtip so what one does is one deliberately warps the wing so the trailing edge is higher and now when when that root starts to stall the tip is now flying because don't forget it's higher so the angle of attack is less at the tip okay. so now all of a sudden the airplane's flying along and the root is stalled but the wingtips are still flying because they're bent a little bit like that Okay, so it's almost like having just a little tiny aileron on one side, or no, it 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 stops it, it stops the wingtips from stalling from before, stalling before the root does. Interesting. So what we do to, to get that is we just place this under the trailing edge as we did. Now when we build the wing, we, it, all the glue is soft, right? So then when we put the weight on it, so we're going to wait here. And when this is pinned down to the board, right, it's actually going to twist it just it's a little. Twist it just a little bit, so that notice the tip has less angle of attack than the root. Well, that's and, good to know. That's and so the tip flies. That makes sense. It makes and, perfect sense. Right? And creates a more stable airplane. Wouldn't have thought of that. What we have here is our, our hinging for the surfaces, and these are Sig. CA hinges and other companies make them and you just cut a, a slit in the foam and fit it so that they fit together like so and the idea is that on balsa wood you just hit it with CA and they're all done but I don't want to CA this so I'm just going to apply some glue before you slide it in there right some glue before I slide it in there and I also added this plate to allow the screws for the horn, the control horn, a firm attachment. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there. That's just standard wood glue, right? Yeah, I'm just using good old Elmer's Carpenter's glue. And goes like so. Yeah. And I'll just... Slide it together. Now don't forget to go ahead and 
go all the way and it, it'll open it up a little bit. There we go. But we want our gap to be as minimal as possible. Okay. Because what happens if it's too big, then the air flows through there and the, the surface will deflect, but the air just flows around it and you don't get a proper effect. Looks like that works close really well. Close that up just like a little those. more. Okay, and then let's do this one. <laughs> and these are so easy. You know, the guy on the uh, on the instructions said to scotch tape the hinges. You know, that's simple enough. <laughs> I just don't think it's as, as efficient as this. This looks easy and... Well, I just don't really trust nice. the tape because, you know, inevitably after <clears throat> after a year or two, the uh, the tape comes off. You know, and then you got yourself a mess, whereas this is permanent. But this is the hard part, of course. Getting All right, let's, line let's do it like so. One, whoops. Come on. <laughs> One. It is tough. It's got to catch them all four at the same time. What's going on here? Right. So now what I'm going to do is work it in there to make sure that the glue mm -hmm. gets down inside the slot. Because if there's one thing you don't want coming apart, it's your hinges. <laughs> that makes for, no, it makes for an exciting watch. Now, the important thing about this stuff <clears throat> is that you wipe off all the excess. Mm -hmm. it makes a hard spot on it. Well, you don't want to glue the hinge line. Right. And it's a lot harder to sand. And so if you do try to sand it off, and if you use a damp rag, it's a lot easier because, of course, this is water-soluble glue. I don't have a damp rag. So. And then I'll just go through it one time and, and like I'll sight through it and make sure that, you know, I don't have any glue in there. And hey, look at that. Looks good. Great. Look at that. Hot diggity dog. Perfect. And the same thing there, of course, a plate. <clears throat> now this, we're going to cut this notch out because the rudder goes in there and so I wanted I, I, want, I was even thinking of making a little gusset in here or, or a, a plate you know to, to mm -hmm. reinforce the joint there so I may still do that with a piece of cardstock it's gonna be well put together it's gonna look good so we write that on there all right well we'll see what happens here so a dry run and I've got the right board, or the right piece with the curve in the front. If we sand it on the bottom, so it sticks better. And I'm just going to pin everything together, right? So, so should we do the leading edge or the trailing edge first? You tell me. Let's let's do the trailing edge first. That's, kind of what, I would, that's what I would do only because it just seems like... It's, it's a flat, and, you're, and you got the biggest bend on the second side. So, But normally, you know, actually, they tell you to do the leading edge first. Oh, really? Okay. But you know, you don't glue, or you're just going to pin, you're, you're going to glue the whole thing all at once, right? Glue you're, the whole thing all at once. Okay. No going back. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Hey, here goes nothing, right? And I got the wax paper underneath it. That's a great idea. I think I'm going to do that. You know, I probably maybe should uh, put some water in this to slow down the... Oh, how, well, that stuff takes a while to dry anyway, doesn't it?
<laughs> this is the fun part. That's the fun part. <laughs> Maybe screwing the whole thing up for all I know. That's good. Obviously, it's going to be important to get, you know, equal, I mean, an even amount of glue on there. Yeah. Application of glue so that it sticks everywhere. You don't want to have, you know, a little piece sticking up because then it'll be hard to get it back together. And of course, these roots are, you know, very, very, very important. Which is why there's more ribs there, so we got to make sure we put plenty of glue on there. All right. You know, and the other thing about it, you know, working with epoxy, can you imagine mixing up this much epoxy? No, I can't even imagine. And then working with it and, and having it all done, you know? You'd have so, to have, you know, one hour epoxy. <laughs> and a big pot yeah. <laughs> with a big brush. <laughs> all right. So I got everything, right? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. We're ready. All right, the right angle of the dangle equals the heat of the meat. Right, I'm going to line up the trailing edge just because it's easier. Yeah, I think. I think. So let's take a piece here. Here, here's a piece. Got sticky fingers now. Well, you know, this has been just the most difficult thing for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I'm going to go down here. Whoops. Well, you got to get your little spacer in there, too. Right. right? Spacer. Now, my weight. Okay. There we go. Look at that, huh? How's that look? It looks, good. It looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, it does. So now I'm gonna I'm just gonna pin this to itself. I'm not gonna pin that to the to the board because obviously it won't. Yeah, you don't want to yeah. The washout will go away. All right, so I'll put that there. All right, and now how about, how about this right here? Okay. How about one in here? Oh, I can't put that there because that's the wood. Okay, so now here we go. Now, one thing you can do is tape, use tape on the leading edge. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it really wants to come up, so you really need, you know, a whole bunch of whatever you're going to use to attach it. A lot of pins or a lot of something. Right. Yeah, but the problem with tape is you'd have to be working it. You know, unless you laid it underneath to start with. Yeah, right. I guess you'd have to tape it on the bottom before you laid the whole thing down, wouldn't you? Yeah, and it may just pull that tape, too. <clears throat> Well, you know, that's the thing about modeling is that everything's an experiment, you know, and who knows, you know, who knows what'll happen when it's all dry. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fun part, that if it actually flies when you're done with it, it's like amazing. <laughs> you think that's all the way down? I'm going to look for you here. Uh, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it sort of does that. Look at this. 
<laughs> I like it. Now, the other thing is, you know, in this foam, the, the pinholes are probably going to show up. So, you know, who knows what will happen with that when it gets painted or something, you know, I don't know. You know, if you're that close to the wing, <laughs> you can see the pinholes. <laughs> That'd be something. Wow, look at that. It actually you know, it seemed to hold down really well. It did. It's, it's pretty darn straight. It looks really good down there. Look at that. Here, check it out from right here. You know, it's it's hard to see that, that light. Oh, no. It's, but it, it seems to be sealed right down there against there. I wonder yeah. if you can... No, without your hand, I can see it really well. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's sealed really well. You think it's curved right? Yep. Okay. Okay.